Hey guys, Drifter here. Today I'm going to show you how to build a really cool and really comfortable streaming rig for a fraction of the money of a gaming scorpion. And you might be saying to yourself, what is a gaming scorpion? If you go type this in on Amazon or almost any shopping website, you'll find a ton of companies making a whole bunch of different versions of these massive adjustable chairs that allow you to game from multiple positions while also kind of looking like the hero in a cyberpunk anime or something. It's very cool looking and uh, I've actually used one of these before. They are incredibly comfortable and very fun. However, as you can see, they're also very expensive. This one is about $12,000. I found a cheaper one here on Amazon that offers essentially the same thing, but with less customization on the monitors for a meager $2,600. But if I wanted to go decorative, I could go all the way out to about $25,000 for a pink double gaming scorpion chair, which I love. This is my favorite image, how they put it in a bedroom. <laughs> like, like it just matches the rest of the aesthetic in there. These are very, very expensive devices. But for somebody like me who has a back injury, being able to lay down and stream like this is very valuable. The reason I didn't just want to buy one of these other than the ridiculous price is that again, I got to use one. And one thing this doesn't do, it doesn't allow you to lie all the way back. You'll never be fully comfortable in this. You'll never be fully relaxed. It's always a little bit reclined. And due to my particular condition, I really need to be laying down on my back. So me and J-Hub teamed up and put our brains together. And using this setup, I can game, stream, and work comfortably all while laying flat on my back in the bed. The setup is very lightweight. It's adjustable and extremely low cost, which we're gonna get into in a little bit. I really should have filmed more of the setup process, but I was just so excited to get this going and to also work through a little bit of the trial and error that I didn't. So this is the finished product. This is something that I use to stream teamfight tactics from almost every day. We do watch parties all the time. Uh, personally, I was just excited to get back to gaming. I thought it was very cool and I did it for like one tenth or less of the money of any of these other rigs. So without any further ado, I'm going to go over everything that you need to build your own very low cost bed streaming rig. The first thing you're going to need is a bed to lay on and a frame for it because you might have to run cables and stuff under the bed. I personally went with this 16 inch platform twin XL bed on Amazon. This was $72. I actually looked it up earlier today. It was $64. I love how Amazon changes the prices based on the cookies on different computers. And then I needed a mattress. I went with a low cost memory foam mattress that I could easily put right on the top. And I found this brand called Nap Queen. It's kind of like a bamboo mattress, kind of a thick one actually, if you can see the images here. And it was also very inexpensive at $148. So for the price of about $220, I had the bed and the mattress. The next very important thing that you're going to need is a very specific type of wall mount that allows the monitor to flip downwards. Very, very few monitor wall mounts actually allow you that degree of rotation. I went through a couple of these of trial and error and failures and returns and just trying to find one that would face down at my face when mounted at the wall. And I actually called this company called Ergotron and God bless them, they had an actual customer support team. They understood exactly what I wanted and they had exactly the product that I needed, which is the MXV wall monitor arm. I went with the matte black one instead of paying extra for different colors. This is one of the most expensive parts of the build at $240, but it's worth every single penny because there's really no other product on the market I could find that would actually point downwards. I even went to go to the specifications for this product and just make sure that it does have a full degree of rotation, which you can see in a couple of these images. Yep, here we go, the side view, where it goes down 90 degrees, that's what I needed. And uh, Ergotron was a great company. I was impressed that I called an internet company and an actual human customer support answered, and they even told me if it was compatible with my monitor or not in minutes. The next thing you're going to need is some kind of computing device, be it a small uh, desktop PC, or in my case, I went with an older gaming laptop. It's got a dedicated GPU, it's got good specs, and I can just set it down on a cheap, simple stand, plug in the monitors, and immediately be good to go. You will need a stand to set either your laptop or desktop on. I went with a $25 one from the thrift store. It was very, very inexpensive. After that, you're going to need a few wireless accessories for comfortable control while you roll around in your bed. The first of which I'm going to recommend is the Logitech K380 multi-device Bluetooth keyboard. You don't have to plug up a 
USB dongle or anything. It just automatically Bluetooth connects straight to the computer and it is a fully functional keyboard. It's really light, the battery lasts a long time, and it's just about enough to put on your lap and type with. Pretty cheap too at $27. For the streaming aspect of it and being on camera, I went with an older Logitech HD Pro webcam C920, which was $64. This is sort of the standard streamer webcam 15 years after it came out. I had like three or four of them around the house, so I didn't buy a new one. I did, however, buy a new USB hub. This cost me $10 when I bought it. I don't know why the prices changed so much when I changed PCs, uh, but it's a very simple, very small USB hub that lets me turn one USB 3.0 port into four, and that's very helpful for me because I chose to go with a laptop instead of a desktop. Now, there are some other accessories that I got for free that can significantly increase your price. Due to my sponsorship with Logitech, code Drifter, by the way, if you want to save 5% off anything you're seeing here, I got a Logitech G Pro X Super Light Mouse. I really like these mice. I actually didn't use a pink one. I believe I have a white one in there. But I think all the computers in my house, I use the exact same mouse because they're light as a feather and the batteries last forever. For the headsets, instead of just relying on the speakers on the monitor, I decided to go with the Logitech G Pro X2 Lightspeed headset, which I also got for free thanks to the sponsorship. And it's above average microphone that we already reviewed earlier this year. But the battery lasts forever. It's Bluetooth, it's light speed, it cooks up to everything. It's really simple. I even ran analog on this thing. And it's kind of my default audio for the bed streaming rig. And the next the last thing we're going to cover is a little bit of organization. I decided to add this IKEA gaming pegboard to the wall behind me to store all of my electronics cables and just grab and go kind of stuff on. If you go to IKEA, you can see they use these in a variety of very crazy looking gamer setups, but the reason these work is they're modular. You can get as few or as many as you need. I only needed one. And they sell a ton of little accessories that hook in here for you to balance things on. So I have one for my keyboard, one for the mouse. I have a little uh, hanging stand for the headsets, and I have a few extra baskets just in case I need different stuff. The base is $35, but you'll have to spend a few more to get all of the little accessories to hang things. The next thing I purchased was a D-line cable zipper cord. This is a very standard, very basic cable zipper. It's very cheap. It prevents me from having a bajillion cables around my head and just kind of getting them tangled or lost or damaged. And overall, I think it looks nicer too. And the last step, price variable and optional here, is what I went for is about a 24 inch monitor because anything bigger and I'm turning my head too far to the side, I can't quite see it all at the same time because of the distance above me. And they're very cheap. You can get a lot of different kinds of 24 inch monitors, mostly for under $100 on Amazon. Most of these are 1080p. Mine is also 1080p. One thing I would have done differently though, is I probably would have gone up to 1440p because then I could run my games in 1080 in windowed mode and still have the Twitch chat open in the side. One of the downsides of having a 1080p monitor is that I have to run my game in 720 and have the Twitch chat open at the, on the side. And that's an overview of all the components that you need to build your very own bed streaming rig. The total price for me of new things that I bought was about $630. If you were to do this completely from scratch and need to buy every single component and not have any laptops or desktops or leftover monitors or anything, it might creep up to about $1,500 to $2,000. Total setup time was very brief. It was less than two hours once we kind of knew what we were doing. I will say on setup, you need to very, very, very much so find a stud in the wall. You're mounting a heavy monitor on an arm, on an overhang, and that very much so can fall down and smash you in the face if you just do drywall. The monitor mount even comes with these enormous thick uh, wood screws. So I recommend finding a stud and putting the bed around the studs and not just installing this thing on the wall and just hoping that it works fine. The heaviest piece to manage, the most difficult piece, was actually just the mattress. Mattresses have a tendency to be heavy. Everything else was really light, so... I think it was an easy setup. I do got to give a shout out to J-Hub. Uh, J-Hub did almost all of the actual construction on this and some of the brain work as well. We tried a few things that didn't quite work out. We tried uh, different positions, different heights on the monitor. I tried to go cheap and not buy the wall monitor arm and instead get this kind of a uh, this stand, this little like roller cart desk, look like a hospital accessory, and it just didn't work because it couldn't support the weight of the monitor at all. But at the end of the day, I'm very happy with our results. I think we did pretty good for less than $1,000, certainly, if not closer to 500. I was able to build a rig that lets me stream comfortably and at surprisingly high quality 
from my bed. You know, I hope there's a future where I'm more active and I can stream at the desktop and sit up longer, but for now I gotta make do with what I've got and it has been a godsend. Once again, I'll give a little shout out to myself. I stream Teamfight Tactics on Twitch almost every day and we do very frequently do movie nights as well. Usually really bad, really funny, exploitation, best of the worst kind of flicks. So if you're there for that, there's links down there in the description. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope more of you just build your own bed rigs instead of buying gaming scorpions for whoever owns a gaming scorpion, my God. Drifter out.